it's crazy because I feel most people don't actually know this ginger win because it was off stream in losers. <laughs> That's so funny. It's crazy. Like he has the distinction of being one of the few players to eliminate Plump from a tournament with Falco, and the world just doesn't know. Let's see. Oh, a like crazy opening and Spark immediately firing back with a shield grab and a great CC. Great tech chase here. Great boost grab to catch tech roll in. Triple out. Let's go. Spark, a very optimized player. He is one of the people who does the wave dash back, like slight wave dash back uh, off of a down throw to try to be better at reacting to second place. Shine Bear, wow. Crazy stuff. Racking up the damage and locking down that kill. Ginger holding onto the ledge. Spark trying to wall him out, but a roll in is going to give Ginger center stage. Do you know if Ginger is a Falcon who does a all shine grabs? I don't know that. I know that was like Magi's Magi is matchup. definitely a all shine grabs Falcon. What I mean by this, by the way, is uh, against Sheik or other floaties, they will always shine grab whenever they hit the character. Because even if the grab doesn't hit and the shine hits, and they still don't combo. stay shield, it's still combos. They have enough time to react off of the grab. Or off of the grab whipping, sorry. Yeah, great pressure here. Both players are they, they're playing around each other's face. Then full needle stack. Oh, huge yeah, shine There's grab. the shine grab. There's the shine grab. It's Ginger's the shine grabber. Oh, we've only seen one. Maybe, maybe we'll mix it up. Good dash check. The up smash. Awesome. Continuing the combo. A barely missed the needle no jump. The ledge. And gets the forward tilt and should do it. Spark's no stranger to Falco either. He's beaten plenty of Falcos in his time. I believe he has a mango in at Smash Camp. If I'm not that's, mistaken. That's crazy. Whoa! Unpunished chain. Ooh. Let's see here. Back throw in the corner. Trying to find that Nair to get the cheese on him. But barely missed. Said, He's we're friends, but that's not going to stop me. <laughs> we're, we're pals, but that could stop me from cheesing. Both heroes in their own right. That's oh. true. Ray backer and all heroes got a gimmick. That's true. <laughs> See here dropping down charging on the top in. platform. Yeah, Ginger does these rising aerials on the top platform that are so brutal to deal with. And these pressure sequences after he gets the hit are also equally as brutal. Like oh. so hard for Spark to get any leverage once he's in disadvantage. Yeah, getting center stage here, but Ginger is chasing Spark down. And Spark doing a great job. He was doing a couple of aerials in place to catch Ginger jumping off of side platform because he knew that Ginger wasn't just going to go straight down. It's a really solid read. Down tilt's going to do it. All right, Spark on his last stock here. Ginger holding on the top platform. Yeah, light shielding on top plat. There's no hitbox that's gonna touch him. Exactly. Because if you hit the light shield, you just get slid off. Exactly. Okay, but big tech chase potentially. Oh, up tilt. Great, up tilt. Recognizing the DI. And, and that bear does it. Last stock situation. All right, what's gonna happen here? A big grab, but doesn't get anything much off yeah. of it. Kind Fal of hard with that. Falco player. has the best time getting a grab and the worst throws of any melee top here. And it's really tough for him. Great buffer rollout on Spark, knowing Ginger's not going to let up with the shield pressure, and it's just best to get Death out. Throw. Oh, the near barely barely whiffing. But Ginger's kind of in a bad spot here. Gets the up tilt to reverse it. Oh, how does Spark recover? Up tilt, back air, just resetting. Landing on side plat. Oh, oh, barely missed it. I think he went trying to go for that shine back air. And that could be huge. The, Wait, reflecting the needles. the needles. Oh my God, the Nair. Oh, he looked like he was he was feigning going for the dare to make Spark go to ledge. Yes. What, what? a down smash. And both of them are laughing and giggling about yeah. it too. So Ginger two friends shaking, having fun. Ginger shaking his head. Uh, that had to be a down air and put her yeah. down tilt. And it, you know what? It worked out. Yeah, it worked what, out. Yeah, no, you, that's one of those ones where you're like, did you mean to do that? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I had no, the I, hardest I that. read on you. You know, we just had to do it. It was our last set. You you're, know, why you not? You don't think I, I built up the read over time of semi-charged down smash on your yeah, shield? Yeah, I, I conditioned poke? you to do that. Yeah. You know, I, I waited for your shield to you go You know down. I know you like that. Yeah. <laughs> we played so many times. What do you mean? Of course it wasn't intentional. Or it was intentional. Really solid opener here. Ginger, though, ASCI downing that up tilt and finding a, sh uh, finding a shine. Oh, huge. Wow. Knew that Spark was going to DI in all three of those. Great mix-up. Okay, maybe they actually are doing it. Yeah, the that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, Ginger's like, you know what? If one works, let's try another. Yeah. Shine, shine. And up B will not hit, but positions with the up B instead to platform. I see a lot of Falcos do that nowadays, and it's really clean. 
Yeah, I think that's uh, Bobby inspired. So I think Bobby was one of the ones who like just upbeat for positioning a lot, like yeah. in the middle of neutral, which like makes sense because you can't really react to it if they. If they and go because they're stuck in shine and they're so high up, like you have enough time to pick your uh, positioning. No, it's really smart. And if the DI is oh, poorly, you can get the upbeat. That needle grab was gross. Oh, didn't have enough time to shine. And Spark with a pretty considerable lead right now. Four stocks to two. They played crazy. I, did Spark DI the laser to ledge after the short hop? That's If he did that, that was insane. Now, if he just got by a normal laser, then he's still insane, but not for that situation. <laughs> <laughs> See here. Get, getting a... F Oh God, a, nair, a rising nair to the top platform. Spark is crazy. <laughs> I'm surprised Spark didn't shield her. Oh no. Needle? Oh no, just going for fair. You gotta take those. Like, I'm your friend, but you're giving me a freebie. You gotta swipe that. And now Spark with all the momentum here. Three stocks, but Ginger with a crazy sequence. Great slide off on Spark though. Not getting caught by too much more of it. Down air. Oh, oh what a oh. barely missing that extension. I like the dash attack too to try to cover uh, Spark dining to ledge and good awareness on Spark to not get by it. Good back air. Good call out on Ginger just holding the ledge. Ginger, this is still doable. Ginger has just played such a good job getting around Spark. And then here are these walls of pressure. Ginger's finding random little openings here. The thing is, this game, Spark's punish has been crazy. Oh, great slide off. You can't give Ginger anything. He will take it to the bank. He's been known to cash out very often. Let's see if he doesn't the stock and he can potentially make this a last stock situation. Oh Dad, my no, Lord, no the way. up air! Falco's up air is a fake move, but doesn't exist. Don't ask questions. Alternatively, Sparks DI is incredible. That's fact. That was such a strange angle that Downer sent them. Down tilt will do it here in last stock situation. Can Ginger take one home and get two on the board? Or is Spark gonna make it 1-1 one, one and even it up? Focusing in here. Locking, Ginger. locking in with the anime protagonist uh, glasses turn. Oh, back throw F smash! That backer should lock it down oh, for wow. Spark! 1-1. One, one. Yeah, really good coverage. I didn't expect Ginger to go for the mid short in there. And Spark did. That's why he's better than us. That's why he's up there. We're over here. I was up there earlier. It's okay, man. <laughs> I was up there too. What do you mean? You got you got second at Giant Melee. You're the GOAT. I wanted to win. That's facts. I have a second me too, place. brother. Me too. I have a second place and third place medal from Collision. I want a first. You'll get you'll get a first next time. You need you need to complete the collection. I'll try. I'll Your try. arc finishes next time. My arc finishes. <laughs> Oh, oh, love the up air follow-up. Yeah. What is he going for? Oh my lord, that movement, Ginger. Oh, the platform interrupting Sparks Bear. He knew the height, but he couldn't time and it right. Double shine off the top. Gone. Ginger's on fire right now. Ginger doing these shine uppies on the ledge. Yeah, I'm technical too. They're fully in the right? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, I got to He's how he is so technical is what he's saying. Oh, trying to tech chase the down air, not finding it. And the getup attack interrupts it, should be dead. Spark evens up this game. Oh, does it cover Spark's roll? And he's been getting away with a lot of these rolls. And I want to see if Ginger's able to cover them. Oh, crazy platform movement. Didn't lead to anything, but still. Good CC. And now setting up this tech chase. Oh, deciding to dash check there, ending the sequence. Gets another grab, Spark is locked in. How much will he get off of this? Dropping that forward air, and Ginger finds an opening. What a but nair a, out. Was that a wiggle out nair? <laughs> I think it was. Yo, you're spreading propaganda. Wiggle out isn't a thing. What do you mean? No, you don't need a wiggle out nair, you what? just mash the A button. Oh. I'm going to talk to Bambi after this. <laughs> 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 Wiggle out Nair is pure propaganda. <laughs> Don't listen to him. <laughs> Good dash shack up air, up till Dare. Gets us back to 2 2. Look at Spark though, finding these grabs this game. I love that. He told me about that. He told me about full hop, weak Nair, and he fades it so far back so that Ginger can't get a grab even if he CCs it. Oh, that's so Oh, can't get a smart. shine even if he CCs it. That's so smart. So, look at these full hop, weak Nairs are so intentional because they're setting up a mix-up of going in or going out. 
either gets an extension or Ginger can't get a reversal, at least with the tool that Ginger loves, which is CC Shine. Huh. That makes perfect sense. Oh, they're just going back and forth. Power oh, shield and wall around. jump there. That was clean. Talk about some movement, too. Oh. oh. He was like, oh, if you can charge smash jacks, maybe I can. And for both of them, it didn't work out. Great spot dodge from Spark here. Not dead to that, but we've got an edge guard situation. Extra was... laser damage in and giving up ledge a little bit early. Yeah. I guess he's one more stock. Oh, wow. The crazy shine. shine. The coverage. And the dead. shine off the top. <laughs> dead to shine from the side flat. And all of that work for down with nothing. Spark might make history. What? Spark could make history here. That's true. Taking his first ever set off Ginger the final time he can. But you know, we've said that shine's before. crazy. That, that shine's so, so funny. It's crazy that he knew exactly. Like that, you just can tell these people play all the time because he was ready and prepared for all three of the Oms. I think it was three, three of the Oms attacks and was ready for the finisher because he knew that if he didn't shine. He, he saw would. the percent. Yeah. He, went, he went, you're dead here and end of and story. Yeah. And now we're on FD. This stage, I don't think is is really tough for Sheik. It's like, this stage really bad for Sheik. I think it's just generally a bad stage. <laughs> for everyone? For everyone. <laughs> I think it's just a bad stage. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, okay, it's not a matchup thing. This stage is ass. It's not a good stage. <laughs> That's why we try to make it not a starter. It's so polarizing. But in this matchup, absolutely not a good stage for Sheik. No platforms to move around. Uh, Pretty telegraph recovery is a lot more difficult to recover and Oh yeah, wait, Spark's doing incredible. Yeah, it? all that uh yeah. something we're saying around the stage and Spark is kinda owning Ginger. Yeah, Spark is up two stocks here on Ginger's second counter pick. Got a massive F smash setting Spark off stage. He will not recover from that one. Let's see here. Ginger's got pit like what call it? I'm pretty sure pillars are on lock on the stage, right? Sorry, what was that? Does she does Falco have pillars on Bungie? Yeah. You'll love to see it. I think Ginger can unlock though, um, just unlock it on a stronger punish. He's trying to do CC shines to start those pillars. Yeah, being walled out here by Sheik. Up what tilt. an up tilt. Oh, what's, oh, he's sending off stage. Like, uh, as Falco, you mix up between doing pillow combos and going up and down and getting more percent and then sending off stage with these back airs. Yeah, Ginger's wasting no time. He just wants Spark off stage. Right, man, 128. It's just funny how that death throw just sends you nowhere. He's at 120, uh, 121%. Good F tilt here. Oh, a little bit too late. Oh, and a roll did not expect that from Spark. The needle and gets killed. Spark is up three stocks to one. This is potentially Ginger's last winner side stock. And he's smiling and laughing throughout it. I feel like in another world, a player knowing that he might lose his perfect win streak would be tilted out of his mind. But Ginger, he looks calm, poised, and kind of happy. So I'm sure he's also been in this position before. For sure. Maybe Look at this. Like, oh, this corner pressure. Happy that his friend can do it. But oh, oh no. Not like that. Spark returns though with a strong hit. Ginger's fishing for so much, but Spark doesn't want to give it to him. Finally lets it go. And gets the forward though, Tech is going back to center stage, playing it pretty safe, knows that he's getting to dangerous percent. Forward oh, no. air! The and needle! That's going to do and it. that is the set! 3-1! Spark makes history, beating Ginger for the first time and in their storied careers. Goes forward into winner side top 32. Spark continuing that rise. That could we'll call it that rising just as a player, yeah. he's becoming so good. His results are getting better and better and better. And Spark is trying to make sure that you see it on the big stage. I know that uh, someone on the uh, <laughs> r slash SSPM flamed me for seeding Spark over Ossify and said there was no world where Spark should be seated over Ossify in 2024. I think that's crazy. And Spark, Spark is like, I think that Ossify did very well recently. Yeah, 100%. Like a lot of really good records. But Spark's Spark, really good. Spark has won tournaments over some of the best in the world. Uh, like, I think that that is like, that is a tier that Spark is in. I think Ossify is phenomenal. Oh, absolutely. And we're about to see Ossify play yeah. because our next set is Ossify, is Ossify Faust. Faust. Also, that means that Bad Mango happened off stream, and I hope that it was recorded somewhere.
is a tragedy. Yeah, hopefully it was on a side stream. I, it is a tragedy if that set was not recorded. Man. The burning of the library. This is going to be a crazy set. Oh, absolutely. So, both of these players, Faust and Ossify, I mean, most players at this point of the time, this day and age, know who Ossify is. Like, he just had his incredible yeah. run at Full Blue. Yeah, if you didn't know, Beat now Mango. You know. He was, if you only look at Mango's Twitter and only follow Mango, you're a Mango head, you know that Mango talked about getting noob trapped at. What are you wearing? Ossify noobed out Mango, I'll say it. Uh, <laughs> you just costume changed in three seconds. What, what, I, was just, what? I was handed this by salt. I got to run with it. Okay. <laughs> but no, Ossify had an insane run at full bloom, uh, making Jmook and Mango look doable.